Here's a short video of 108YM to show how heat's pressure and movement can affect the expansion of the product as well as the yields. Here you see YM sprayed at the proper settings, dialed in, staying ahead of the foam and maintaining a proper pattern, resulting in little to no waste in the cavity. The next spray is the same chamber, just slowing down my speed, resulting in higher waste factor due to the expansion of the foam. The third spray is strictly a larger chamber, same processing parameters as the 4242 120 1200 PSI, but just because of the larger flow rate, you have more material coming to more waste. Here's a cold spray at 105. There's slow expansion, the creep, and the large setback results in higher touch-ups, higher density foam, and lower yield. Here we've simply raised the pressure, which results in the spare having to move faster so the waste factor doesn't go up. On this one, we've simply raised the heat, not the pressure, and the setbacks increased, resulting in higher density foam, more touch-ups, and less yield. See the shrinkage you can tell from the high heat, it's setting back, which result in your sprayer having to come back and patch after he's already done the job. On the last spray, we've raised pressure and heats, resulting in a faster reaction, a faster setback, higher density foam once again, once again resulting in more touch-ups and less yield that's in the house. Here you see the front of the foam begin to shrink back. With the cardboard sucking in, you can begin to see the result of the high pressure and high heat on a drastic measure. 